My name is uh, Bobby Narcisse. I'm Deputy Grand Chief of Anishinaabeaski Nation covering Treaty 5 and Treaty 9 territories. Well, the child welfare system, especially uh, within Canada and in Ontario, is uh, quite vast in terms of looking at prevention and also uh, protective services uh, for children. Uh, many child and family services societies were uh, created by First Nation communities to really uh, look at uh, more innovative ways to really create a system that is more reflective of the diverse culture, language, and uh, bringing up of our uh, children and our own distinct uh, cultural identities. A lot of particular issues uh, facing many of our communities across the far north include access. Uh, access to uh, services that are enjoyed by our urban brothers and sisters. Uh, many of our communities are fly-in. Uh, 34 of Anishinaabeaski Nation communities are fly-in and uh, we do have a number of uh, communities that are road access. So with respect to remoteness, uh, still in lies the uh, discrimination against many of our children and families uh, due to their situation. Uh, many of our families, many of our children have to leave uh, their communities to access uh, basic needs like uh, mental health services, health services. And of course, even uh, our, our education systems. It's our vision uh, to really move forward in a future where our children, youth and families can enjoy uh, their traditional territory. Uh, to be raised by the community in which they live uh, in a way where, you know, their language and their culture and their heritage is well preserved and it will endure and evolve uh, in a new way that uh, by creating a system that is uh, brought on and born from the ideas and traditions of the First Nation in which they live and uh, basically giving the tools to our knowledge keepers, uh, to our leadership, uh, to many of those community champions that are out there uh, tirelessly working with uh, many of our families in need, uh, looking at ways to you know support those systems as well. And this is our role. Uh, we're there at the negotiating table uh, to really advocate for many of these resources uh, to go to the First Nation itself, to be developed at the First Nation level. And uh, the coordination of all these different services, because many of the work that we do with uh, children, youth and families uh, goes past uh, various initiatives. It goes into education. It goes into health. It goes into social services. Uh, it goes into the like, community wellness plans. So it's really important that uh, we really, um, really utilize and uh, tear down many of those silos that are existing in many of our First Nation communities in order to really work together uh, to find uh, many of those uh, uh, and really enable a lot of those uh, supports that are available to our children, youth and families. I'm very hopeful and I'm very uh, encouraged uh, by the work of uh, many champions at the community level uh, with the leadership and also many of the, uh, our leaders uh, within various agencies and organizations uh, that are uh, being fostered by uh, First Nations uh, mandates uh, across our country uh, to look at ways to really coordinate all these services uh, and also uh, uh, be in a position to uh, uh, really assert inherent jurisdiction over our children, youth and families. Our leadership across our territory has never given up uh, their jurisdiction over their children or their youth or their families. And uh, seeing many of these communities really assert their own laws, their own traditional laws as well uh, at the community level, dictating how uh, it should be within their own respective communities is very encouraging and hopeful. And I think it's like uh, many of these communities are sharing their best practices uh, with different communities that are also uh, at starting points and, uh, and looking at ways to really supporting their children. So I am very hopeful in this work that uh, no child will, should be left behind. Every child matters, and ex especially children within the remote north as well. Uh, this is why we'll continue this fight uh, to ensure that uh, we maximize all the resources uh, for our children in the remote north.